two things. Number one, I'm using Google Trends to just give an example showing about interest in the subject being looked up on a search engine named Google. And also other search engines are consulted by these search engines. They steal from each other. Uh, a couple of things here. Number one, uh, I'm not just using that for information sources. Number two, that is a probably fairly accurate map, although it's distorted, obviously, because of the projection. Mercator, I think it is. Uh, but that's probably a pretty accurate map of where people are looking this up. So if you're watching this, about half of you are in a country that doesn't speak English. You speak a different language. Why, why is this suddenly interesting? Okay, we're going to go through the graph real quick, and then I'm going to talk. June 2020 through August 2020, is from here to here. Okay? All right. And that's when interest in the subject went way higher than it has been since, like, 2002 or whatever over here. By September of 2020, it was at its peak it's ever had. Then by December, it had dropped down. And then January of 2021 right after the riots in D.C. and an election, but also all sorts of things happening worldwide, it had dropped down to here, and it went right back up for a little while, about a month, and then down, and it's going down. We're at the tail end of this subject, so I don't know how much use or good I'm going to do here, maybe, if I give you some information on the subject. Now, I have to warn you that if you're a believer in something, you're going to be primed to ignore everything I say, you're going to work very hard to disprove what I'm saying since I'm overtly stating that I'm trying to debunk or I'm going to debunk the subject matter. Okay? And yes, you can see in the upper right-hand corner what seems like a cop-out, which is lucid dreaming. Now, there's a couple of channels that promote lucid dreaming that are saying that reality shifting must be real and or insinuating it. Now, why would someone insinuate something when they could just say it? And why is this trending from June of 2020 during a damn pandemic? All right. We're going to talk about how you would actually shift from one reality to another if you could find, detect, and be compatible with a parallel universe. Now, it goes without saying that this is based on the idea of parallel universes needing to exist or possibly existing. So let's start with the first one. One of the presumptions people make is that as they go through life, each individual on this planet with 4 billion people on it making innocuous, boring, or unimportant decisions every day as well as important ones causes the universe to split so that there's more than one universe. Now I'm going to translate that. That is a cop-out that makes it to where your individual actions affect the universe on a way that is not detectable here, but is truly important. Now, I'm starting to sound like a psychotic Republican that would have been storming the Capitol. But honestly, that is a good interpretation of that idea, or ideal. Obviously, you could live in a universe, this isn't one of them, where each butterfly wing beat causes another universe. But that isn't actually what happens. The butterfly effect, which a lot of you are probably caps lock typing about, is very simple. In this universe, without changing anything to cause the rest of the universes to form, the wing beat of a butterfly could affect, because of the very, very unstable nature of reality and it having too many variables, the presumption is the beat of the wings of a single butterfly could affect the universe, or actually, more accurately, just the weather phenomenon on the planet. It doesn't cause an extra universe. So the butterfly effect within the system, without needing to form extra universes, means that it's not part of the multiverse induced by action hypothesis. Where does this come from? Well, number one, I've already indicated that the idea that your individual decisions, however unimportant or, 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 or paramount they may be, 
can cause another universe. Now that sounds very poetic saying, especially when I point it out that way, but that isn't going to cause another universe to happen that's a copy of this one. And I mean that very, very strictly. Now there's a presumption with time travel that that has to be, but there isn't a presumption that that has to be. And I mean that in the most direct sense. Even the study of time space itself does not say in any posting of any science paper after approximately 1970s era when this was popularized with pyramid power and such and a lot of LSD. Nobody's posted a paper that says that individual actions of individual molecules induces a separate universe. That isn't needed because it doesn't have to be. In this universe, because of the butterfly effect, that means that no matter how complex the pathway from today backwards to that butterfly is, that individual butterfly is buried under the mass of other butterflies, every bug, every random decay of a uranium atom. No, your actions do not have to induce even a basic change in this reality that would have long-term effects. Now that sounds disempowering, but that also means that you can do things in life and not have to worry about the outcome worldwide, doesn't it? That also means that if you want to, you'd have to do more than just dreaming it to be it. Don't dream it, be it. Some of you might have heard the song from a, a movie that I'm I, okay, I'll admit I watched, or maybe participated in. But anyway, but the fact is, dreaming it doesn't cause it. Becoming it does. You can uh, decide tonight to put down notes, make a, make a little book up, or just really think hard, and you can cause yourself to have a dream about anything you want to. That does not mean that in your internal reality, in your mind, in dream state, that you have traveled to an alternate universe. The reason for that is that every other time you had a dream that had nothing to do with what you wanted and had nothing to do with anything other than a mundane reality you're in, that, that, those didn't create an extra universe or, and you didn't transcend or shift to another reality. Why would, it, why would those be unimportant? Now, some of you already run into that and are already backpedaling or what about it. I want to point out something. I invoked the idea of conspiracy theorists and uh, the election being literally directly attacked by a political party in the United States for a reason. There is a personality type and a subculture in every country, but in the United States we've noticed it more, that is obsessed with trying to ignore reality right now and has been for years, longer than Trump was existent. Reality ignoring, ignoring or uh, I call it reality denial, is an extremely old thing. Now, if anything else doesn't get through your thick skulls while well, you're listening to this, and every one of you has a thick skull, so, does I, so do I, don't be a Trumper. If you want to believe in an alternate reality where you can be at Hogwarts, you're already down that path. It's not a slippery slope, it's a cliff, to becoming just like the mind-bendingly, tiresomely dumb people on the internet that keep screaming crap that isn't real. You have people out there who truly believe their lucid dreams are altering reality. There's entire belief systems based on pray away whatever they don't like. Okay? It doesn't work. It can be a motivator. It can make you decide to do something about the world around you and make the world a better place. That's good. And lucid dreaming is entertaining as hell. I did it when I was younger. For me, it was watching a movie called Doctor Strange. There was an actual movie before the Marvel, you know, the, the cinematic universe movie that came out where I got to see that. There's also Dreamscape. Another, you might want to look up all of these things. And by the way, if you're watching this video, go watch Dark City, please. And then realize The Matrix isn't the first one. But anyway, here we go. This reality isn't changing because you wish it to be. So now, June of 2020, especially all the way to today, there's a trend on the Internet of people wanting to believe that you can 
jump to a completely separate reality. And you can do it while you sleep. That's a primary statement, right? Okay. But you're here. You're not in that dream state. So inevitably, the next step that people bring up is something I'm not going to say on video. All right? You already know what I was going to say, but I'm not allowed to discuss it on YouTube because YouTube censors people for trying to help these days. So I can't say it. But you already know where, that, where it's going. Don't do it. Okay? No, the world doesn't get better. I'm not going to be one of those dumb adults that tells you that. It'll get better. No, no, it won't. It's just that it's not that bad. Stop watching the news. Stop paying attention to people desperately seeking it on the internet who are trying to be influencers telling you shit that isn't real. Stop watching Sky News Australia. Stop watching Fox News in the United States. Stop watching all of the news to be blunt and honest about it. Walk outside. See that the world hasn't changed that much. Ask people who've been alive for more than 50 years, when you walk outside, is it really that actually different? And they'll say, no, it isn't. Talk to somebody who's over 100 years old, who was alive during the Spanish plague, or watch an interview with them. We're going through the same damn thing. It's not any different. Except that the death rate per capita, or, per, or, or infection uh, case fatality rate, is actually maybe a little lower. This may be a lot less bad. Even though we have more people on this planet, we have a better handle on things. We also have people, just like back then, who drive themselves to a false reality because they can't handle this one. And they immediately tell you that you're doing the same thing when it's really them. And that's an easy tit-for-tat argument. Most of you watching this video, if you are susceptible to this mind hack that someone has pulled on the internet, are young people who are impressionable and might do something terrible to yourselves or others. Don't. If you've been practicing this lucid dream technique, that's fine. If you want to have fun writing fanfic and uh, short stories based on other franchises like Harry Potter, that's fine. If you want to study quantum mechanics, great, go ahead and do so. But the rule here is, this actually doesn't work. I'm not going to go into the particulars, and I'm not going to go into the three-letter acronyms that are being used or whatever it is. It's not relevant. I might put it in the title of the video. It's not real. And you are going to find woo peddlers who are trying mostly to convince themselves. And maybe be influencers. And maybe, maybe be attention seekers that get the attention they desperately need on the internet. You may find these people saying these things to you, trying to convince you that they are 100% right about this and that they're above reproach and that this is supported by science. It is not. Period. You have to look for articles and works by a minority of scientists. A minority of people who actually study quantum mechanics or time space. Time space is not altered by the butterfly flapping its wings. Weather phenomena is, yes. But that's not as important a, a, an effector as whether or not the sun comes up that day. It's the dominant force for determining the weather. We may not be able to predict it two weeks or a month ahead, but we do a pretty damn good job a couple of days ahead. That's just simply a limit of our able to, ability to understand the reality. That does not mean in any way that it must induce separate parallel universes and that there's an infinite number of possibilities for you to escape to. And lastly, reality shifting as a meme is escapism. As evidenced by the graph, that's the real motivation for people looking it up. And people who are either self-deluding or are hucksters out there are exploiting it recently. And there's also a small number of people, way back when, who are simply discussing it because it's an interesting thought experiment. And definitively, I will state that lucid dreaming is fun and actually a very good mental exercise. And no, if you did it, quote-unquote, and nothing 
quote unquote happened, that doesn't mean you did it wrong. That just means it doesn't work the way people are telling you. That's okay. It it why would you assume it could? It's not going to make you permanently stuck in whatever dream you had. Because I want to point out that that would also mean you could get stuck in a nightmare. I'm not going to tell you it's going to get better. I'm going to tell you it's not that bad. And I'm going to tell you, lucid dreaming, okay, that's a fun activity. Reality shifting, except for a plot device in a movie or TV show, is not reality. And it's not an alternate one either. And there are people out there who are influencers and attention seekers that will tell you the exact opposite. You do not have to comment, rate, subscribe, share, or hit the bell for me. That's not relevant. I just want to make sure you're here for a long time, even if you don't like this reality, because even if it doesn't get better, you will adapt to it. Which one is more empowering, running away from a challenge or beating it? Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.